Nutrition Research at Exeter University is focused on identifying effective nutrition and exercise interventions that can support healthy ageing and to understand the mechanisms that underpin their effectiveness. We're also interested in how nutrition can be used to optimise training, recovery and performance of athletes. Much of our work is funded by industry. We have a world-class team of experts with cutting edge facilities that allow us to measure the effect of nutrition interventions on the physiology and metabolism of our volunteers. We can also use cell culture approaches to take a much more in-depth look at the molecular processes happening in muscle, liver, adipose tissue and bone cells. So some of the research that we do in nutrition in sport and health sciences involves looking at the effects of polyphenol supplementation. These are some of the healthy chemicals present in fruits and vegetables that give the taste and colour characteristics to them, but also have antioxidant properties. We've done a number of studies in this area where we've asked, for instance, uh, healthy older adults to supplement with a blueberry concentrate every day for a period of 12 weeks. What we found was that they had significant improvements in their working memory and also had improvements in the perfusion of their brain with blood, which we suspect is the mechanism by which the blueberries and the polyphenols are able to have these favourable effects. And we're continuing to undertake research in this area. We've been studying the influence of dietary nitrate on human health and exercise performance for about 12 years. Um, we were the first group to actually discover that dietary nitrate could have these impacts. Inorganic nitrate is an important component of our diets. We take it in, in green leafy vegetables and in beetroot. So what we find is that when an individual consumes dietary nitrate, that their resting blood pressure goes down sometimes quite substantially, and that's going to be beneficial to their cardiovascular health in the longer term. But we also find that muscles become more efficient. So you use less oxygen to perform exercise, that improves your endurance performance, and simultaneously muscle contractility, the force that muscles can generate. So we work with a range of different funders from the BBSRC to uh, industry partners. Alongside producing world-class research, we are also training the next generation of researchers and applied nutrition practitioners, partly through our Association for Nutrition Accredited BSc in Nutrition, which focuses on both nutrition for healthy ageing, but also on sports nutrition. I completed my PhD at the University of Exeter, and upon completing that, I was offered an opportunity to continue my research and as a result, I have been given the opportunity to develop the forearm muscle biopsy technique here at Exeter. We study how nutrition affects physiology of performance and tissue adaptation across the health and lifespan. And as part of this group, um, I'm running a Wellcome Trust funded project to look at them. how can we study how people lose and why people lose muscle during periods of physical inactivity. And the impacts range from elite athletes it's like Elliot Kipchoge, who's been using beetroot juice prior to his amazing marathon performances for probably six or seven years now, right the way through to elderly people and those suffering from various clinical conditions. 